Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to root or unroot your Redmi 1S. So just to get started, let me open the root checker app, hit verify root. As you can see, it does not have root access. And to show you guys that again, let me quickly go into security, permission. And as you can see, root permissions is grayed out. So uh, this is how you're going to enable root access. The first thing you do before you uh, follow any tutorial is to back up everything on your phone. Uh, you will not be losing your apps or data, but just to be safe, back everything up and then click on the link from the download section in the description. So that would take you to this page. Over here, you can download the root and unroot zip files and transfer them to your phone. So I've done that already. So what you do next is go into tools, update and I've hit the menu key, hit select update package and scroll down, select the first one, the one for root, select that and hit update, start update. So just wait for the Redmi 1S to do, do its thing, let it uh, boot back up. So once you're back up, quickly go into security again and I've gone to permission and you can see you now have, have the root permission enabled so let's enable that and to double check we go to the uh, root checker app so this is an app that I downloaded from the Play Store you just have to search for root checker so hit verify root and hit next 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 and there you go congratulations this device has root access so if you want to unroot, use this file that we downloaded from uh, the link in the description. So now I've quickly go into security again to unroot it, turn off the root permission. And now I've go to tools, update, hit the menu key, select update package, scroll down, select the other file, unroot, and hit update, start update. So again, it's uh, just make sure you back up everything before you unroot it. Like you see in this video, you're not going to lose any apps or data, but before you perform anything, any kind of uh, rooting or unrooting procedures with your phone, any phone, make sure you back everything up because there's always a minor chance that you might lose your apps or data. So the Redmi 1S has booted back up. So now just going into security and permission. As you can see, root permission is not available anymore. So we have unrooted the phone successfully. So I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little video on how to root and unroot your Redmi 1S. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries, do let me know in the comments below. And if you have any video requests for me, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. The direct link to all my social networks can be found right below that like button in the description. And with that, we get to the end of this video. If you found it useful, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.